The question is evaluate the value of the integration of the function x tan inverse of x with respect to x. Now to solve this question, we observe the integral and we find that it is a product of two function. One of them is x, other is tan inverse x. So this question would be solved by integration by parts and to solve this question, we will have to sort out that which function we are going to assume as the first and which is the second function. So, to justify which function would be the first and second function, we see that the tan inverse x cannot be integrated directly. We do not know the integration of tan inverse x. Okay, so we have no choice rather than taking tan inverse x as the first function. Okay, so we are going to write this as tan inverse of x into x dx and which which implies that tan inverse x is a first function and x is a second function and we are going to see this formula for reference that that is a formula of integration by parts now on applying this formula i'm going to get this as tan inverse of x into integration of x that is first function into integration of second function minus differentiation of first function that is tan inverse of x integration of x that is the second function and the integration of the product obtained in the bracket. Okay. Now, integration of x is x squared upon 2. Differentiation of 10 inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x squared. And integration of x is again x squared upon 2. You can see we have applied the formula of integration of x to the power of n, which is equal to x to the power of n plus 1 upon n plus 1. Okay, so we are going to obtain this as 10 inverse x into x square upon 2 minus integration of 1 upon 1 plus x square into x square upon 2 dx. We are going to simplify both these terms so that I can write them as 1 by 2 10 in, uh, 1 by 2 x square 10 inverse of x minus 1 by 2 times integration of x square upon 1 plus x square. Okay. So, we have to integrate this term. Now, to integrate this term, what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply a little bit of trick. And trick here is this, that I'm going to subtract 1 and add 1 from x squared, which is there in the numerator. So, I get this as 1 by 2 x squared, 10 inverse of x, minus 1 upon 2 times integration of x squared plus 1, minus 1 upon 1 plus x squared. Okay. So, taking this term, next what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide these, uh, this term x square plus 1 with 1 plus x square separately and 1 with 1 plus x square separately to get 1 by 2 x square 10 inverse of x minus 1 upon 2 times integration of 1 plus x square upon 1 plus x square minus 1 upon 1 plus x square, right? Now this 1 plus x square, 1 plus x square cancels out. So I get this as 1 by 2 times x square 10 inverse x plus 1 upon 2 integration of 1 with respect to x minus integration of 1 upon 1 plus x square. Okay, now integration of 1 can be written as x and integration of 1 upon 1 plus x square is equal to 10 inverse of x. So I obtain this as 1 by 2 x square 10 inverse of x plus 1 by 2 into x minus 10 inverse of x plus c. Multiplying, that is opening the bracket, I'm going to get 1 by 2 x minus 1 by 2 10 inverse of x. From both, uh, both these terms contains 10 inverse of x. So this can be written as 1 by 2 x square minus 1 10 inverse x plus 1 by 2 x and plus c that is integral constant give me the required answer so this is how i'm going to integrate the given function thank you please support us by subscribing to our channel by liking this video and giving your comment for the video